One feature of a Kiba Solo is to allow you to automatically store the backup on a remote location such as Amazon S3. Amazon Web Services and their S3 storage system have a free level that you can use with up to 5 gigabytes of storage. Once you've created your account and logged into the console, select the S3 scalable storage option. The first thing you're going to need to do is to create what Amazon S3 calls a bucket. Give your bucket a unique name, ensuring that you don't use any uppercase letters or spaces. I usually use the domain name. And select the region where you want to store your bucket and click create. Now that you have created your bucket, you will need to create your security access keys. Click on your username and select security credentials. Now click on access keys and create a new access key. Dis display the key by pressing show access and you can download this key file for future use but for now let's just keep it open. To configure Akiba Solo to now use S3 as the storage location for the backups we must first select configuration. If you scroll down until you reach the processing engine. Here you can see several options and the one we want is Amazon S3. Once selected, click on configure. We now need to enter our access key, which we created earlier. And the secret key that goes with it. Finally, we need to enter the bucket name and the Amazon S3 region. Once that's done, we can save and close. Akiba Backup has now been configured to store its backups on the Amazon S3 cloud. To test it, click on Backup Now and perform a backup. Once the backup is completed, we can go to the Manage Backups page. When we can see, here is the backup we just took. Its status is remote, meaning the files are stored on a remote service. And if we click on this link here, we have the option to fetch the files back to the server or to download them to our own desktop. If we also go to the S3 Management Console, we can browse into the buckets and we can see that our backup file has been stored. So now we are able to create backups and store them remotely somewhere separate to the website.